interviewer, Jim Brunston from the Financial Times. Two questions, if I may. Uh, firstly, Theresa May in her press conference said that the UK would be holding talks in coming days with the EU on Brexit. Is it possible to know exactly what the process is going to be now, the order of events going forward from today, and basically when we're going to be back here dealing with Brexit again. And secondly, on Euro reform, the statement that's been adopted today covers certain issues. Other issues are not mentioned. Uh, issues to do with further developing the banking union with a deposit guarantee scheme, for example. Is what's set out in the statement today it? In other words, is this now what's going to be done to complete the Euro? And is that enough to make the Eurozone ready to withstand the next crisis? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our intention is, and it was uh, clear from the very beginning of this process, that we want to facilitate the ratification process on the continent and also in the UK. Um, yesterday's uh, conclusions are quite clear, I think, that, and uh, we have to treat it as a that's a good sign. I mean that we are ready to reconfirm our assurances and our goodwill and good faith when it comes to so-called um, backstop. I have no mandate to organize any further negotiations. We have to exclude any kind of reopening our negotiations on the withdrawal agreement. But of course, we will stay here in Brussels, and I'm always at Prime Minister Theresa May's disposal. It's it's my job and my and my pleasure, of course, to to be in contact with Prime Minister on all relevant issues. Many meetings with uh, Prime Minister May, who's a good friend, and I'm admiring her because this is a woman of great courage doing her job in the best way possible and um, so I'm supporting her not as far as all the content elements are concerned but uh, I'm supporting the way she's dealing with that um, with that matter what we have to discuss now is the future relation and we decided yesterday under the chairmanship of uh, uh, President Tusk that a second after an approval by the two parliaments, the British one and the European one, and before signature, we'll start the negotiations on the future relations. Because I was following second by second the debate in the House of Commons, and I noted that there is a deep mistrust in the House when it comes to the European Union. That's not a good basis for future relations, but in order to prove them that we mean this seriously, the negotiations on the future relations, and that we mean it seriously, that we don't want to have this backstop being a permanent instrument, then we have to discuss and to start our negotiations. And uh, it was crystal clear that nobody in the room uh, did agree to reopening in any way the uh, withdrawal agreement. The withdrawal agreement will stay. The uh, political declaration will not be joined to the withdrawal agreement because these are two different instruments, the one legal, the other uh, political. Um, but um, I, I, I think that we have to bring down the temperature and uh, these attacks coming from Westminster against Europe, against the European Commission, will not be responded in the same way by the European Commission and by the European Union. <laughs> Although I would like to do it. Ah, Europe. There was a question yeah, yeah, about Europe. Uh, what Euro was the question? Eurosum. 